All right, guys, so we got a new uh, video uh, coming out for, to you. So this uh, company actually uh, reached out to me. Uh, it's called Wakecliff. It's a, a tire pump, so it's a smart air pump. And so I'm going to do an unboxing and kind of review it. And so this is what we get. This is the box. And on the back, you know, it tells you all that you could do. You could pump up tires. Uh, you could just, you know, you get this case, tire, ball pump, inflatable nozzle adapter. So you get all these stuff. The charging cable is a C type. You got the user manual. You got uh, a tire repair kit. And then obviously the wireless air pump itself. And then on this size, it tells you the the specs. So it's it's a pretty nice box, uh, like that it comes in. Like it's a pretty you know decent sized box. So I'm gonna open it now, and then uh, we could kind of see what's in the box. All right, so uh, let's open the box now and pull it out. So it's already in the, everything's already in the case straight out of the box, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to try to force it back into the case. So unzipping it. So obviously you see you got a QR code thing. It says thank you for your purchase. And uh, you got this, this little sack here. So you could put the pump in as well. And then you got the adapter piece. And then in here is where you got the tire repair kit. The other adapters for like the ball and other stuff. And then you got the charger right here, which again is a C cord. And then you got the manual. So that's what all comes in. I'm gonna put all this stuff back in this pouch here so I don't lose anything. But the good thing is, so far, the the fact that you could, if you wanted, you could put it in this. I like that. And just the size of this case itself is a pretty nice size. So like it's easy, you could just put it in the trunk of your car and it's not taking up a lot of space. Then you got the pump itself which honestly is not that big like it, it's a pretty decent like decently sized pump and there you could see where you charge it so I, it seems like the plastic on it doesn't feel like that cheap plastic it feels pretty pretty thick so I'm gonna obviously peel this off and then now we'll See if it has any power. I don't, I don't know if it has any power. So in the center here is the power button. So I'm gonna hold it, I guess. See if it turns on out of the box, which it does. And then, I don't know if you could see it well, but uh, so it's on and right here it shows a car. So you hit the mode and it changes the uh, mode so like now it's on motorcycle bike ball and back to the car if i wanted to change the psi i just now click the plus or the minus and now that changes and then right here is where you want to screw in the top for the pump so i'm going to screw that in all right guys so i got the pump here in the garage and uh i pulled out the uh manual and as you see it says the uh, time to charge it charging time is four to five hours so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this on the charger uh, wait between four to five hours kind of see if it is you know that length and uh, then once it's fully charged I want to see what it can do up to like how many things it can pump up and kind of see how it handles um, once it's fully charged so I'm going to charge it and once it's charged, I'll cut back to you. 
All right, guys. So we got this charged, and uh, we're going to test it out. I got a couple balls here. Uh, took the air out of this tire, so we could test this. And then before, uh, after doing all this one, we have the ultimate test with. There's a flat tire on Timmy's Etzel, and we're going to test it out on that. I don't want to just test it out on one car tire, like because right now it's fully charged. We got off the charger, and I wanted to see, you know, if it could do all this, then the tire not just you know because obviously right now it could do the tire so i want to test it before going to the tire to see how it performs so uh here we go all right guys so i have this screen on as you see and to change up psi you hit this plus and negative button and it'll change this number down here but then if you want to change up the units from psi you will hit this u button to the right and as you see, it goes PSI, bar, uh, KPA, and then uh, kilogram, centimeter, square, or whatever. So I'm going to put in a PSI. Then if you hit this M button, uh, there's a car right here. Then it'll switch to motorcycle, bike, and then ball. So I'm going to leave it on the ball. It comes with these adapter pieces. I put the ball piece in. You put it in. And then you hit the power button. It, it, it pumped up all the balls, like nine or ten balls that we just pumped up, and, and it felt like it did it in like three seconds. It was pretty quick. So now I'm going to take off the ball pump. I'm going to have to, because I wasn't using the pump for a while, it's now off again to save power. So now I'm going to turn it back on, and then now I'm going to swap out from ball to where I was, I'm going to change it to bicycle. On this tire, it says 40 PSI, which will be right there. So now, time to inflate this tire. And as you see, the tire's flat. So now, All right, as you see, it shut off itself because it's at 40. So now this tire is pumped up. Kind of want to pump up more things before we get to the tire. Uh, this says it should read the tire pressure. So I want to test that with this back tire. And yep, we're at 11.6 with air. So now it's pumped up. So and the cool thing is is this pump, if you look at it compared to my phone, the pump is a lot smaller than my phone. Yes, it's thicker, but it's a lot smaller and it's not that heavy. So it, it's 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 a lightweight portable, you know, charger, flashlight, and air pump. So we're actually working on building a trike over here, and uh, these back tires. I don't know where the level is, but as you see, it's low. Alright. One thing I like about this is the fact that it shuts off itself once it hits the PSI mark. So, so far, with just the stuff that I've done, I definitely recommend this because, you know, obviously, you know, with it being portable, it will help us out at least because we have a lawnmower in our back property that one of the tires kind of loses the air every so often. So instead of pulling out a uh, air compressor, walking it all the way back or getting a bike, regular bike pump, bringing it back, this, you know, is definitely a plus so far. So. Uh, we're going to bring it to the car tire right now and uh, time it and see how long it will take to inflate. Because you know, right now 
it's supposed to be 35 psi we're at 7.6 so obviously a little low so i'm going to see how long it takes up to get up to that 35 so in three two one All right, guys. So as you see, uh, it where well, I didn't stop it right away, but we're at 9:52, so nine minutes 52 seconds. Uh, which honestly, again, if you're if you wake up and you go outside and you notice your uh, tires low, what you could do is you plug this in, turn it on, and go get ready, and then you come out your tires pumped up and now you can go it says where you have uh, two bars left uh, because you know we did it did take a while for this and the tractor one so I'm going to turn it on again so as you see we're, oh no we're actually at okay yeah two bar three to two bars the third one just went away and that was with doing all of that stuff uh, and this one obviously took a while so I'm gonna just pretty much see what else I could do with this uh, I think what another thing I want to do is I want to kind of wait until it's nighttime and kind of just see how the uh, light is and we actually do I didn't mention this yet because I forgot until well just now but we do have a code like a discount code for this honestly this is a good uh, product so so far so and um, so yeah if you guys want to get yourself one of these uh, in the description below we'll have a link to this and a discount code so definitely check this out for yourself because I I do uh, I do like this and the cool thing is so like my phone for example is a C port so I could use this actually as a charger and as you see it shows that it's taking away the well obviously battery power so it's showing that it's charging alright guys so as you see it is dark out and uh, I just wanted to test out the light on the pump. So I'm gonna turn it on. It's on. So there's the display again. Uh, you can see it better at night. But I'm gonna turn on the light and see how well the light is. So the light is on, as you see. And oh wow, it's actually a pretty good light. Uh, I thought at first it wasn't gonna like I thought it was gonna be kind of just to if you need to fill a tire at night but you know what I want to see how good this light is and as you see we're going down in the back so we'll make it out in the back as you see it is dark out so this actually is a real good light like you're able to I, I would I would have no issue walking with here so I'm going to turn it off so as you see I'm in the backyard and you know, I'm able to kind of see some in front of me like you can see that tree a bit uh, like I could me personally I could see it real good I don't know how well the camera picks up but so I'll aim at the lawnmower we were mowing back here so I'll turn it off now so as you see without it on like the thing's still on I'm just not using the light it's dark like I'm moving around you can't see anything so now I'm going to turn the light back on there you go so it's actually a pretty good like you could see kind of pretty far you know 
with it. Well, this would be a perfect thing to bring camping. All right, guys, so there was the review on the Wayclip Smart Air Pump. Uh, honestly, this thing's awesome. Like, I used it, pumped up like 10 balls, two bike tires, two tractor tires, a car tire. At one point, I was trying to pump up a tire, didn't realize it was off the beat, so I sat there for like an hour pumping it up, but then was still able to charge my phone, use the flashlight, uh, as you saw at night, walked in the way back where it was way dark, used it, and the light's good, the charging good. The thing that I really like about it is that you're able to set it for whatever you're pumping it to, like just read the tire and you can set it up on here. Uh, another thing that I like is that it tells you the tire gauge, or it gauges the pressure. Uh, so again, description, I have a code, a discount code. Uh, it's not going to last forever, so uh, make sure to check this out. Use that discount code. Everything will be in the description below. So as, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for cruising down the last road.